Hey there, it's Brian Gormley again with another edition of Where in Greater DC. Uh, you know, these uh, these locations that we're filming, um, uh, they're just too easy, too easy, too many people get them right. So uh, what we normally do, for those who are new, is uh, film all over uh, town, DC, Baltimore, anywhere in between, uh, down to Woodbridge and up to Towson. Um, and uh, and give a couple tips and tricks on uh, short sales and real estate, uh, the market generally, or other uh, techniques that are uh, that are working. Uh, and then, if you guess the right location and you be you know the first one to uh, to send that uh, uh, location to support at cornerstonepropertieshomeinfo.com, uh, you get a prize, whatever we're giving away that that particular week. So um, I, I made it a little bit more challenging this week. Uh, here's the uh, here's the tip. Um, I would look at the uh, look at some of the building names and some of the street signs if, if you can see them in the video. Um, this is a um, very interesting uh, location in town and um, a little uh, a little left leaning. <laughs> Let's put it like that. <laughs> yeah, I lived here a number of years ago for uh, for a little while and. Uh, just about everyone, uh, everyone. It was in. It was actually it was in college. It was a number, of, a large number of years ago. Just about everyone uh, that um, all the all the men at least were uh, that I was living with in the uh, in the in the dorm facility was uh, were propositioned by the time the summer was over. So uh, that that's just should be a good enough hint. So okay, um, tips and uh, for the real estate. Uh, F. What is FHFA and what is their impact on short sales? So FHFA is the uh, the government agency. Right, that was created to oversee Freddie and Fannie when they went uh, effectively bankrupt. Uh, it's it's the uh, it's the receiver uh, that was appointed by Congress uh, to uh, supervise and regulate um, uh, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae uh, and ensure that they're performing you know in a safe and sound manner. So they're going to be responsible for creating housing policy. Uh, to the extent that they impose requirements on Freddie and Fannie, and Freddie and Fannie, in turn, uh, you know, go and and uh, uh, put forward, uh, you know, requirements in the uh, the rest of the market. So, uh, it's it's very very important and powerful agency, particularly right now. Obviously, they're going to have a big say in um, how we uh, liquidate and whether we liquidate Freddie and Fannie, and and uh, what we're ultimately going to do if, if those two GSCs are. Um, are really just going to be repurposed and put into another name, uh, or if they're just going to be completely uh, uh, eliminated altogether. Uh, unlikely the latter, but um, we'll see. Five, seven years from now, <laughs> still be talking about it probably. Uh, it's probably it's going to take them not about that much time just to um, to get it done. So anyway. Uh, that's who they are. That's what they do. Uh, their impact on short sales very significant, right? Because uh, you may know in in your approval letters for short sales there are a number of conditions and terms. And uh, just to take one example, uh, you know, actually I'll take two examples. Uh, one is a deficiency judgment waiver. In other words, the uh, getting that deficiency waived, getting the the loan charged off by the uh, by the lender. Let's say Freddie Mac owns the loan. And BB and T is a servicer. Well, BB and T may have their own policy as to what's put in their approval letter. But if Freddie Mac tells BB and T, "Hey, look, we own this loan that you're servicing for us. You better darn well change your approval letter." BB and T is going to do it uh, because they're the servicer. And in fact, actually, as a side note, we had to do this one time uh, when uh, 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 I can't remember actually now. It's, uh, it was either BB and T or M and T. I get confused sometimes. <laughs> Um, refused to change their approval letter to, to uh, waive the deficiency until you know went over and said, "Look, here's an email from Freddie Mac, where they agree to waive the deficiency on this loan. Um, you know, change your stupid approval letter." And, uh, and of course, that, that they ultimately agreed. So um, it's it's very important um, to uh, to understand the policies of these two entities. The other example uh, that is a very hot topic right now. Is the uh, this animosity towards investors, right? The uh, you, you find it no no flip rules, um, and uh, you know in Bank of America's paragraph ten is sort of the traditional place. That's the most um, you know the most egregious example, the one with the most notoriety. But most approval letters nowadays have some sort of corresponding language that that uh, forbids uh, forbids same day flips or flips for 30 days or, or whatever. Uh, or, or there's uh, addenda now. For example, Bank of America has this nasty little addenda out there, uh, which we should talk about in another video. 
and uh, it's it's a real pain, and, and uh, you should really think about whether you want to sign it, whether the seller wants to sign it, uh, you as, as the uh, real estate agent. So um, anyway, they, uh, FHFA, you know, is, if you think about it from a sort of a hierarchical perspective, um, you know, there's the borrower, then on top of them is the servicer, on top of the servicer is the investor on the loan, um, and let's assume that that's Freddie or Fannie, then on top of that, um, uh, <laughs> uh, then uh, we got lots of people um, uh, actually trying to be conscientious, go figure, in, in Washington, D.C. Uh, um, on top of the, uh, the investor is, is uh, FHFA or and, and even on top of them would be Congress, right? So um, that's, uh, that, that's it. Um, email your guesses, support at Cornerstone Properties, homeinfo.com. If this wasn't clear, um, shoot me some uh, questions via email. Same address, support at Cornerstone Properties, homeinfo.com. And uh, we'll do a 360, uh, kind of slow this time, because I think this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.